All right, so I've got an update vlog for you. A lot of you have been asking me what's going on behind the scenes. Am I going to be doing any coaching, releasing any new products? So let's talk. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski. I help real estate agents grow their business through marketing so they don't have to rely on old school prospecting again. I hate that stuff. All right, let's have a one-on-one -on -one conversation here. Here's what's been happening. Quick history of recap for you if you're new to this channel. I got my real estate license in 2002. By the way, this is a very quick version. In 2002, I did what I had to do. I Well, two primary things. I picked up the phone, picked the street, and started dialing for dollars, and I took on every open house on Saturday and Sunday I could to hustle my way into making money. And sure enough, I started making money, and then after a few short years, when I grew a business, I just burnt out. I literally burnt out. I had enough. I hated cold calling. I didn't have any weekends. I felt like I was just constantly on overdrive and I had no life. There was no work-life balance. And the hamster wheel stopped working. I found myself completely broke one day after creating a business. I mean, I was happy with it. And I went broke. I had to sell my 3,000 square foot home that I absolutely loved and I hustled for. I racked up an almost seven figure debt. I had to sell my house. I relocated my family into a rental and that made me feel completely miserable. I hated myself. Thinking back, it was one of the best things that's ever happened, but in the moment, I completely failed. As a, as a father, as a husband, as a provider. I had a decision to make. Do I stop and get a real nine to five or do I try again? I didn't want a nine to five. I'm an entrepreneur by nature. So I said, let's do this. I moved into the rental and I started researching what people were doing. I came across Gary Vaynerchuk and I started essentially emulating what he was doing. And I decided to start marketing, using marketing to attract leads instead of me constantly reaching out to them. Does that make sense? So I regrew my business and within the first nine months, I nearly tripled my income and life was good again. I eventually had to expand my team and so on and so on. It got to the point where I was getting noticed by real estate agents, broker owners, national brands, and they all started asking me to come train their agents and to teach them what was it that I was doing? Why was it working so well? And that, I guess you can say, sparked a new passion for me. That's really the only way I can say it. Up to that point in time, well, since I was nine years old, I told my parents I was going to be an agent when I grew up, and that's why I got my real estate license. I have a love for this business. And out of nowhere, out of the blue, all of a sudden, I found myself training agents. And at that point in time, I was doing it because people were asking me. It got to the point where my passion, I couldn't, I couldn't ignore it anymore. And over the past couple of years, I've been toying with the idea, do I stay in real estate and grow a team or do I follow my heart where I think I'm, I belong and that's into the coaching and the training. I've built up a marketing system. I know how marketing works. My two passions is marketing and psychology. When you put these two together, I mean, magic happens. That's the only way I can say it. So. What I have done now in 2019, again, this is the quick version, is I have left my real estate business behind. I'm no longer active in it. My full-time passion and focus now is on you, the real estate community, the real estate agents, so I can help you grow your business through marketing. If you have seen any of my videos, I have mentioned the term digital mayor, and that's essentially the foundation for what I'm building. And so that leaves me with the question, what's the update? What am I up to? Well, I'm working hard behind the scenes to actually release my first, I guess you can say coaching, but more group coaching, because it's not one-on-one. -on -one. It's a product plus coaching. It's a roadmap. Essentially, I call it Tribe Agent. Let me see if I can find a copy. Six and a half hours later. Okay, I've got, these are scribbles, but this is, this is essentially what it looks like. 
I don't know if you can see it here. Tribe, tribe agent roadmap, and there are three levels. The first one is the foundation, second one's authority, and the third one is domination, and each, each phase has three levels. Is that a food stain? Oh, it's coffee. Yeah, me and my coffees. There are literally like three coffees sitting right there that you can't see. So that's what I've been working on, and it's essentially a one path system to success. And it's a roadmap that takes you from A to B, but there are nine steps in between. And so I've been putting lessons together, essentially how to start from nothing, as if you're a new agent and even a seasoned agent that have, that have been in business for 20 years, but perhaps you're stuck in, in a constant loop or the hamster wheel of chasing leads and you just want a better way of marketing so you can attract leads to your business. That's what I'm developing. So in the foundation stage, it's exactly that. It's the foundation. I'll show you the foundation of business, the foundation of marketing, the foundation of how to determine who's your perfect client. And in there, I'm going to teach you the messaging for that client because everyone has a different problem. So you have to know how to solve their problem with a unique way of creating a message that actually attracts people. It's almost an unfair advantage. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Once you've got the foundation, the second step is now creating your funnel. Essentially, you're gonna create the lead and the funnel is like a roadmap that's going to take that lead to natural conversions. And you're going to inject a lot of authority. You're gonna grow your know, like, and trust factor. There is an email campaign. There's a lot of marketing and psychology that you're going to use in that second level. Then the third level is essentially how are you going to use Facebook marketing, for example, Facebook ads to now drive leads through the authority and, and the funnel stage. I know what it's like in my head and how it works. I hope I'm communicating that okay with you. Uh, and of course that stage is called domination. Uh, so there's going to be, it's called leads on demand where you use Facebook ads or Instagram ads. Then the second stage in that is the content powerhouse. I'll teach you how to go out into your community, how to interview the community members and uh, create your influence in the community through other people. It's, it's actually, it's mind blowing. It's incredible. And then the last stage is the actual digital mayor. That's where you create your tribe of people that are absolutely going to love what you do as an agent, but also for the community. And that's why I'm calling this system tribe agent, uh, because you're essentially creating a tribe. So that's what's happening behind the scenes. I'm creating this, it's due to launch approximately second week of next month, so that would be in April, in case you're wondering. So we're not too far away from it. Um, working like a madman behind the scenes, trying to upload lessons for you guys. So that's going to be what I'm going to be releasing. Other stuff that I'm working on, I'm getting called by different broker owners, different managers, I've been meeting with them. They want me to come in and train their agents. I've been asked to do some future events for conferences and things like that. So I'm getting more into the speaking and I'm getting more and more active in that aspect of things. So I hope that is an update for you, but in terms of things that will directly impact you, that is the Tribe Agent course that I will be releasing within the next month. Now, if you're watching this video six months from now, it's probably already out. I'll put the description or the link to that in the description below. Anything else? I'm just trying to think. My family's doing good. My wife is still amazing and completely supportive. My kids, they're teenagers, enough said. My two cats, eh. Maybe I should make more t-shirts, what do you think? Maybe? Oh, there's a t-shirt I'm gonna be making. I got this totally cool idea from an agent that I just spoke to a couple of days ago. She's actually one of the co-hosts that was on the HGTV, HGTV program called, oh damn, she's gonna kill me for not remembering. It's one of those love it or list it, but it was love it or list it vacation properties. Uh, Elisa Goldhawk, I was having a conversation with her the other day and, and she brought up my Back to the Future t-shirt that I wear. And of course, Marty goes back to 1985. No, he was in 1985 and he goes back to 1965, 64, whatever. Then he goes back to 1985 
And I don't know if you've noticed throughout my videos, I mention the year 1985 quite often. That's where it came from. And to me, that represents old school marketing that the gurus are teaching. Essentially, they're teaching you better scripts. They're teaching you how to become better cold callers, get bigger dialers so you can make more calls. And essentially, I don't know any agent that actually has a passion for cold calling. I mean, I'm not talking about the one percenters of the one percent that are the cold call cowboys and they're that, I'm gonna do it, whatever. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the other 99.9 .9 regular agents that just hate prospecting, essentially the way the public hates. There's a do not call list for a reason. And that's why the future real estate agent that's all gonna be done on social media. It's going to be through attraction marketing, not chasing leads. That stuff is working less and less, I'm telling you. That's just reality. So I told Elisa, I'm going to create a t-shirt that says, I wrote it down, it's not 1985. So I'm gonna just create a t-shirt. I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section what you think about that. It's gonna have the, the logo probably, the Tribe Agent logo, and it's gonna say it's not 1985. Uh, so I'm kind of excited about that. I've got a couple of other neat little things that I wanna do with hats and t-shirt. Anyway, that's not the point of this video, or maybe it is because it's an update video. What else, what else is there? Listen, if you guys have any questions for me, or if there's anything that you feel that is super important that I should cover in my Tribe Agent, coaching i want to hear it because i want to know what you want so please please do me a favor put down in the comment section what you want out of tribe agent what are you frustrated with what do you want to get better at and please don't say cold calling or how to dial more numbers there are plenty of coaches out there that can help you with cold calling that's not what this is about i'm not a cold caller i will never teach cold calling period that's not the future. Oh, one request from you. If you can show me some love, some support, do me a favor and just subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can share it if you want to, but that's completely up to you. Hope you have an awesome day and we'll chat on the next one. Take care.